Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting and going over the new Witch Vomit EP, Abhorrent Rapture via 20 Buck Spin. I only grabbed the cassette because I'm very superstitious about certain things. And this might sound fucking weird and stupid, but I try to get every Witch Vomit EP on cassette and every full length on vinyl. And so far, fucking A. And first off, the killer bargain bin blasphemy Matt Striker artwork. Amazing. I love the cover art here. It's not only very remnant of the last full length record, but like it's also its own fucking thing. And when it comes to Witch Vomit, I feel like they always have amazing cover art, like poison blood and everything. It's fucking sick. And this is probably the heaviest witch vomit recording they've done so far. Hands fucking down. And, like, ha hails to fucking everybody involved. Casey kills it on this record. Her playing is amazing. But all four tracks here, <clears throat> fucking great. I love, like, the handwritten lyrics. Like, this is just obviously a total monster of Pacific Northwest Americanized death metal. It's fucking great. Because Witch Vomit, they're one of those bands that improve in some way, shape, or form with every single record. For example... Super, super fucking ridiculous death metal. And Witch Vomit is Tempter on guitars and vocals, Filth on drums, JG on bass, and CL on guitar. Fucking awesome. And, uh, trying to see if it we get any production notes here and I don't and I'm sorry Matt uh, it's at bargain bin blasphemy when it comes to his illustrations but um, I don't know if it's Matt striker or stricker because it's a uh, it's just a uh, or stilker it's um s T I K K E R. He's definitely he did the outer heaven artwork and stuff. He's fucking great. I, I really love his his work. Like just like look at this fucking like moldering monster zombie thing right here. It's awesome. Just like the new witch vomit EP. 
Like, it's just absolutely like grade A fucking death metal. And again, putting 20 bucks spin in the like lead this year for like, in my opinion, just when it comes to releases, it's just been banger, 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 banger. Same with Head Split, same with Rotted Life, same with Transylvanian Recordings, same with Caligari. Caligari and like Head Split have been fucking insane. Same with Corpse Gristle. Gurgling Gore. It, it's like ridiculous. Life After Death. It's hard to fucking even keep up with like what's being released and stuff, but. There's bands like Witch Vomit that are a little bit more popular, like, yeah. 20 bucks spin definitely, to me, is the gateway label. And, like, Relapse is kind of, like, the same also. Like, you'll see a lot of bands go from Relapse Records to bigger labels. But when it comes to their death metal roster... Besides, like, Nile, and, yeah, Nile, I can't really think of anyone else that's gone past relapse from a death metal point of view, like, uh, maybe Gate Creeper, yeah, yeah, Gate Creeper, because I think they signed a nuclear blast, because I'm talking about death metal, I'm not talking about, like, the Dillinger escape plan and stuff like that. Because there are, like, like re Relapse to me is pretty much a major label, but not really. Like, it's almost, it's that last stepping stone before, like, a major label. Pretty much look at, like, Niall's career when Dallas was still in the band. And you'll see, like, what I'm talking about. Like, they built the foundation of Niall on relapse and then when the time came they jumped to a major label and took advantage of that and yeah I really hope that and this goes along with Matt's artwork and I know Outer Heaven is working on their second well, well their second relapse full length but First off, let's take another look at Bargain Bin Blasphemy, aka Matt Stryker's amazing cover art for Realms of Eternal Decay. There's so much cool shit going on here. I know I should have grabbed all the Witch Vomit records, but... I know Outer Heaven has a new record coming out, and I am talking about Gateway Records. Like, Realms of Eternal Decay, to me, represents probably, like, when it comes to American death metal, like, and I'm not being biased. I put Outer Heaven up there with, like, Blood Incantation. Like, to me, Outer Heaven is very important. Like, I remember, like, they were the opening local death metal band. And I always felt like they killed it. Even when I saw them open for Blood Incantation, a couple weeks later I saw them open for Nails. And uh, it might have been Nails. I know it was full of hell, though. Like, I know... Because I remember, uh... I actually regretted not buying a t-shirt at that show. I ended up buying a full of hell long sleeve, but I remember because uh, I had been collecting kind of Outer Heaven t-shirts and I still, every time I see them live, I try to buy a new t-shirt or Austin will, you know, be a fucking sick guy and he'll be like, it was no, come here, like, and he'll, you know, throw me a sick design, and just like, thanks, dude, like, because I love Outer Heaven, like, I might have my differences with Relapse, but 
I really love Outer Heaven, and I wish them nothing but the fucking best, and same goes for Witch Vomit, like, they're killing, in my opinion, the underground right now, like, if you're not checking this record out, or if you're like me, and you ordered the LP version, but you don't want to spoil it by listening to the digital version, because I'm more than 100% sure the vinyl's backed up. Because uh, I'm still waiting on the Cerebral Rot LPs. I think they actually ship July 27th. I I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But like, that's why I grabbed the cassette. Here, I just had some extra money on a gift card from a doctor's appointment. So I was like, oh shit, Like I can buy the new Witch Vomit. And I did. And here it is. And Abhorrent Rapture, this is fucking awesome. I don't really know what else to say besides fucking A. If you like your death metal, fucking absolutely devastatingly heavy, gross, evil, and just good. You can't go wrong here. Not only is Witch Vomit kind of catchy at times, like, to where I'm having a hard time not bobbing my head, like, so, like, I'm just tapping my knee. And I'm also all window ganged out. I feel like I'm wearing, like, in window gang sweatsuit. But it's all gravy when it comes to witch vomit. Again, just absolutely coming out of nowhere and letting everybody in the American death metal scene know, hey, we still fucking rule. Like, I always hold witch vomit and torture rack as like brother and sister bands. They share members. They sh kind of share sounds at times, but both are sinister sounding at times. Like, especially if you go back and listen to Torture Act, Barbaric Persecution. But Witch Vomit just has this, like... Here, listen. Because it's hard to explain. Damn. comes on a nice classic looking cassette 20 bucks spin's been killing it with the cassette releases this year in my opinion program repeats so you know you get all four songs on each side so the replay values fucking through the roof here again when it comes to my choice the LP or the cassette here, I chose the cassette out of simplicity reasons. And I know some of you will feel the same way with the CD version. Like, you're in, you're out, and you can just replay immediately instead of getting up after the second song. I know I make it sound like a chore, but like right now, it actually is hard to listen to LPs. I have to kind of choose wisely, like make a little stack and, you know, choose what like three albums a day I actually really want to dive into on vinyl. And it just, when it comes to cassettes right now, it just makes my life a lot easier. It's a lot lighter and it's easier for me to, you know, just throw on the tape deck and I'm good. Where my turntable, it's manual, I have to be kind of careful, and I'm not allowed to really move, my, I'm not allowed to move my head at all, and I know I'm, I'm guilty of it, but it's hard not to, it's just something that, you know, your body is, like, trained to do, so I'm trying to untrain my body to move my head in any way, shape, or form, I just try to move my eyes now, but... I love everything about this re release, from the fucking layout, by 
the mighty Dan Fried. I mean, who else when it comes to just like the best layouts in the game? And Matt's artwork along with fucking Witch Vomit's songwriting creates four tracks of hands fucking down some of the best death metal so far in 2021 and i've said that like 30 times so far this year because this year has been fucking insane for extreme metal like seriously and it's only getting crazier i saw the test press of worm forever glade is finished so keep your eyes open i heard late fall early winter but that might be when it drops. They might do pre-orders like in August and then do a late September release. That's technically fall. So who knows? I mean, I'm just hoping that doesn't just sell out like that and I can get a copy situated and whatnot for the channel and myself, you know. But, uh. Yeah, when it comes to the new Witch Vomit EP, Abhorrent Rapture, holy shit. Again, this is one of those releases that 20, 30 years from now, when, like, let's say I get lucky and have a child of my own, like, 30 years from now, that kid is gonna, like, go through my witch vomit re releases and be like, holy shit, like, you have witch vomit? Like, yeah, man. Like, because this is bound to be one of those classic EPs. And I'm not just saying that. Like, don't get me wrong. Poison Blood, amazing EP. But, like I said, they really stepped shit up here on Abhorrent Rapture. Fucking heavy heavy hails to witch vomit and 20 bucks spin and as always you fucking maniacs at home thanks for watching you fucking rule hails <laughs>